those years. Living the life of someone I didn't even know. As we say, doing your own thing. That's Fadharma. You have to find, as it were, your own thing. Now, uh, a job which you do purely for money can never be called a Svadharma. Because you're doing it for another end, to make money which has a purely symbolic value. But when you do a certain work, because that is what is your thing to do, you want to be a doctor because you're fascinated with medicine and all its problems. And you like people so much that you want to heal them from their diseases. Or you might be fascinated with problems of law and so become a lawyer. Or fascinated with religion and so become a minister. Then you've got a vocation. Because you would do that thing whether it paid you very much or whether it didn't. Because that's the one thing you have to do. If you're a painter, you have to paint. If you're a writer, you're one of those crazy people who just has to write. But uh, we feel in our culture, you see, that we have such a tremendous choice. It's like uh, embarrassment of riches when you're confronted with one of those enormous menus in a restaurant which has so many things on it you can't make up your mind which to pick. Well now then, you see, as a person passes out of this, he gives up the social order and becomes a nobody. He then, in that sense, he goes back to the forest. He goes back from the organization to find out who he is alone all by himself. And so he becomes, in that sense, the upper outcast. The man who is respected by those people who are still in caste, because they say, without this kind of person, we should lose our sanity. We should become confused with our roles, unless there's always the hermit in the forest to remind us that man is not his role, that he's something deeper than that. And that the true end of man is to play the game of hide and seek for a while, to get lost in these roles, but then to return back to nature With all that experience behind him, find out again who you really are, so that when death comes, what a funny thing will happen. Death comes and will find no one to kill. For while you are identified with your role, with your name, with your ego, there's someone to kill. But when you're identified with the whole universe, death finds you already an idol. And there's no one to kill. <laughs>